Rock City Network's coming to you from Pushover 2011 and joining me are Chris and Candice. How are you guys? Good, thank you. Yourself? Good, good. How is medals as the duo? So, uh, we haven't seen you for about, uh, I think, just a little over a year. It's great. Oh, yeah. It's now a four-piece, actually. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we're still the main protagonists, the main troublemakers. <laughs> when we perform live, we're a four-piece. That's what he means. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But they're yeah. bigger troublemakers than we are. Actually. Yeah, that's yeah. the problem. Yeah. <laughs> so it's now it's kind of expanded. Just take that pressure off troublemaking a little bit. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, I I've got two friends who are big troublemakers, and we just pretend that they play bass and guitar and drums and stuff. Actually, they're much better musicians than I am. <laughs> Picks up the slate. Well. Fill us in on what you've been doing over the last year, because the last time we saw you was Kiss My Grass in 2010. I mean, clearly you've been doing a lot since then, but uh, mm -hmm. take us through it. Yeah. Well, first up, the EP came out. Mm -hmm. I think that was a week ago now, mm -hmm. two weeks ago. Yeah, so that was pretty exciting for us to get the first EP out and, you know, putting together the artwork and the music for that. So that's, that's been great. Um, and now we're working on the album. So mm -hmm. we're going hard in the studio, working on new tracks. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we actually just got back from touring New Zealand, which was fun. And yeah, it's been traveling all around the country doing random gigs at random festivals everywhere. And yeah. Big day out this year was great. So yeah, just stuff. Well, this, the reception must be good. Now, how, how, how are the new tunes that you're writing for the album? Like, what's, what, what are you pulling out of the process? Mm -hmm. They're heavy. Yeah. That's it? Heavy? Fair enough. He's a man of many words. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> well, I, you must be doing well because uh, I'm not, uh, uh, I hear you're, uh, you're, you're playing Glastonbury this year. That's correct. We, this is kind of off the record. We're not supposed to announce that, I think, until like May. But, Fuck, that's but, we're playing you know, Glastonbury! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're pretty excited to be heading over there. Probably do a few side shows in London if we can hook them up. And yeah, it'll be great. Yeah. Over there. I reckon it'll be quite exciting too. I mean, it's always exciting, Glastonbury, but they're taking a year off in 2012. Mm. This is the last one. Because That's of the London team. Olympics, but I, I, uh, Malcolm Haynes, who was one of the senior programmers yes. there, was telling me at the end of last year that uh, they're also taking it off. I had to ask him to clear this rumour because there are not enough toilets, port loos to uh, share between the London Olympics and the Glastonbury Festival. No, what? Yeah. is that he, one of the reasons? He did confirm that. He did that's confirm that in an interview for hilarious. me. Well, that's a lot of it. So that just goes to show how much infrastructure you need uh, for Glastonbury. <sighs> yeah. It just goes to show how much. <laughs> <laughs> No, the Olympians, I mean. Yeah. Because yeah. okay. they eat a lot we, for we can protein just and. Stop and, this now. Yeah. This, yeah. That's gone far you know, It's healthy, it's good. It's yeah, good it is good. Through. It's very healthy. A lot of how, prunes. How did the, um, how the kids re receive the music outside? Yeah, the, how was the crowd? It's good? really hot out there, so considering how the sun was blaring down, people were like kind of hiding in shade but just to watch, you know, so they're like cramming any shade they could just to stay there and stare there up. Was, so there was a. Um, good. What, what do they call those things? A cir circle scrum? What do they call those things? Oh, there was a mosh pit of was sorts. A mosh pit of girls. Yeah, it was all <laughs> girls. An all girl mosh pit. That was kind of fun. Yeah. yeah we well, that's an interesting that. one. Yeah, absolutely. And that's there was awesome. this giant silver robot that was about six foot above everyone else's heads walking around in the crowd. It yeah. was awesome. <laughs> Excellent. Sounds like a good vibe out there. Pushover yeah. is always a good vibe. I think yeah. it's 19 years this year. So it's been wow. years. It's a while, you know. It's That's a while. Awesome. Longest running underage festival. Mm. Youth Absolutely. festival. Yeah, yeah. Right. Absolutely. It's, it's good to play at youth festivals. Yeah. Because they're into music. It's kind of coming full circle for me because I was actually a mentor in the, um, in the pushes. Um, mentorship program in like 2003, the yeah. Frieza Central program. So yeah, it's crazy for me to come back here now as a performer and play at this thing when I was once kind of, you know, involved. Well, <laughs> it just shows how good the program is. Yeah, it's amazing. Now what's happening, uh, well, uh, apart from the gig we're not supposed to talk about that I've dropped on you guys before? <laughs> well, you mean the one at Glastonbury. Yeah, 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 yeah. Apart from that, what else is coming up in the next few months in the lead up? Well, we're working on the album, uh, and that's, and that's, it? that's just, a big. Focus. Are you going to pull yeah. away from live shows while you're working on the album? Well, and yeah, um, we've got a few. We've got a few coming in Sydney in two weeks on the 25th and 26th. Yeah, yeah. Pebble Sneakers gigs and. Yeah, uh, and, and that's all I know mm. of. And personally, I'd like to just focus on the album. Okay. And then but, I'm going to Iran for a week. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the booking agent may have another opinion on this though, so we'll just see what gets booked and you know. Absolutely. Play with. I uh, <laughs> and now I have one little more bit of information I, I need to confirm here. Not not that it's an issue or anything like that, but uh, can you guys confirm or deny that you're friends with Mr. Julian Assange? I can't confirm or deny that. I'm sorry. No comment. No comment. <laughs> well, you know, 
sorry. If the interview's over, sorry. <laughs> 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 Too late. Bye. Come on, come on, come on. He may, he may or may not be Chris's ex-lover. <laughs> Look, all right, you've convinced me. I think Julian Assange is a hero of the modern age, but we don't know him. I don't know him. Nobody knows him. I think he's an, an avatar. An avatar. <laughs> Which sort of avatar? The blue avatar or the avatar, the, the little kung fu guy avatar? There's two of them. Uh, I think he's generally like a, a um, some sort of... He's an avatar for, uh, well, he's, what, what is he? He's a representation for the, for, for, I don't even know how to get he's my words out He's a wrapped in an enigma, wrapped in a Twinkie. Yeah, he's an, he's, a, he's an avatar. There's, there's something behind him. Yeah. Fair enough. That's I think it. he's a very interesting guy and I think he's done an incredible mm. thing. But let's all, let's not forget that even the, even WikiLeaks is a mediated form of, information delivery. Mm -hmm. It's not completely without editorial. Let's face it, he did edit that video of the, uh, the helicopter gunship from 25 minutes down to 17 minutes. So, in, you know, he had to make the calls on that. So it's mediated. Yeah. So let's not forget that even WikiLeaks, people make decisions as to what to release. But it's a lot better than, um, uh, you know, reading the newspapers or watching commercial television news. Absolutely. I don't own a television. No, uh, I haven't been I watching much TV either, to be honest with you. But I found um, out about the tsunami in Japan via Twitter. Yeah. That <laughs> Seems to be the way that's going at the moment mm. as well. Alright guys, well I'm not going to take up any more of your time. Go and relax. Thank you so much for joining me again. It was marvellous to see you. Well, and um, to see Thanks you. for having us. EP is out now, so make sure you go and check it out. And if you want any more information, you can go to metalsmusic.com. That's correct. And and you also have a MySpace if you want to go and check that out. It yeah, is metals. just forward slash metals. Metals. Mm -hmm. And Facebook, metals music. And yeah. follow us on Twitter because we do post random stuff and it's very amusing. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us guys here at Pushover 2011. Good luck for, uh, good luck for the you. next six months. It's going to be That's exciting. Great. It's going to Thank be great. And uh, I'm sure we'll see you again soon. Yes. That's great. Absolutely. I like the shirt. Thank like you very much. It's nice. nice. Yeah, excellent. I like that tattoo. Jeans. That's a digital primate tattoo, isn't it? Yeah. Excellent. Geez, I wonder why that's He's on there. He's a good friend of mine. Yeah. 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 He let me do yeah. that. Yeah, great. Awesome. Yeah. He doesn't come out in public, but, you know, he, he let me do that. Good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Kenneth, Chris, thank you very much for joining us. Push over 2011 Rock City Networks. We'll talk to you soon.